Hello there, welcome to today's edition of Extra Mile, Exceptional Leadership. It's been a series on the biblical mandate for national transformation. We've been doing everything from scriptures to establish the necessity according to God's design and demand upon us as Christians and as citizens to contribute to seeing to the nation of our dreams and our expectation. We've said repeatedly that we can't complain about what we permit. The reality of the matter is we have this nation where it is today, not necessarily because everybody has been contributory in, in its decay and, and, and un unfortunate outcome, but simply because as stakeholders, we have not cumulatively or collectively done enough to ensure that a difference is the outcome. You know, we, nations who are doing well are doing well because they are, they, they, they've been committed deliberately to occasioning the results they have in their nation. We ended off last week by dealing with that scripture in Judges chapter 9 from verse 8 to 15 that shows how in a symbolic description of how Christians abdicate the responsibility for rulership, for political involvement and engagement in order to ensure that a societal transformation, we use the analogy of trees as contained in that portion of scriptures. You know, here's how the Bible puts it in the book of Luke chapter 16 and verse 8. The Bible says, and the Lord commended the unjust steward for the children of this generation, the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the sons of light. What, what, what a tragedy, what an indictment, what a conclusion about the aberration that is the situation we find ourselves in many places. And meanwhile, you read through the stories of nations that have gone through transformational you know, experiences. You see uh, 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 the, the Christians were in a pivot, the, 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 the central moving figures and, and players in ensuring that things became the way they become. Let me read a scripture or two for us that seem to justify some of the things. Because you see, as you study the Bible, you get to have further and deeper insight into the realities of our time. In the book of Genesis, chapter 4, the Bible paints a picture that you, you can glide over if you don't take a second look. Verse, verse, verse 17 of Genesis chapter 4 says, And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he builded a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. And unto Enoch was born many sons, and on and on. Then from verse 19 to verse 22, the Bible says, And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zillah. And Ada bare Jabal, he was the father of such as dwell, the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled a harp and organ. And Zillah, she also bare to Bacain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubacain was Nehemiah. What, what am I reading out of this scripture? The first thing you notice is that, strangely, people whose lives were not exemplary, at least with respect to biblical standard, we're the progenitors, we're the trailblazers in commencing things that the world celebrates today. For instance, the Bible talks about Cain. You know who Cain was? Cain was the first murderer in the scripture. His son was the first person to build the city. His grandson was the first person to go into real estate business. Another grandson of him was the first person to go into animal husbandry. Another descendant of Lamech, who was uh, uh, the first polygamist in the scriptures, was the first person that went into music, went into artificing, went into engineering, construction, and all of that. What does that say to you? It's strange how truly, like Luke 16, 8 says, the children are in this generation wiser than the sons of light. Why should they be the one blazing the trail in leading the way for things that are good? I'm going to continue. You stay tuned.